If you're looking for an outside the waistband paddle holster, then this review is for you. Brian Kirby here with Take Aim TV. In this episode, we're testing the Vetter Pro Draw outside the waistband paddle holster. Let's start off by talking about the situations we would use a outside the waistband paddle holster in in the first place. You know, concealed carry with a winter coat. Could easily conceal this with my normal winter coat uh, or on the range and hunting or fishing. Like when I'm outside in the woods, hiking, things like that. Those are the situations I would find myself using this in the most. Here's where I wouldn't carry it. Open carry in a crowded public area where somebody would have the ability to get the drop on you and take your pistol. This is a paddled holster, which means it can be removed from your belt easily. That's the advantage of it, but it could be a disadvantage in an open carry situation. So I really wanna recommend this style holster for open carry in those crowded areas. That's something you would rather have like a level two holster something that's secured to the belt where it can't just be pulled off from you or someone can't just pull the gun out of the holster. But all those other scenarios, that's where this will come into play. Okay, that's enough about the why. Let's get into the features of this holster. Starting with the paddle, it is made from polymer with a rubber grip texture that goes against your pants. The can can be adjusted 15 degrees forward or backwards by simply moving these screws in the rear. So one of the big things obviously when testing these is, has it ever fallen off me? No. When we were doing live testing on the range, which involved running around, getting up and down from the ground, it stayed put and didn't move. Same with my at-home drills, you know, jumping jacks, all that good stuff, moving around, it stays put. I think the rubber texture also kind of helps keep it from moving on your belt at all. Uh, but I was confident that it would keep my pistol in the holster and on my belt. When you look closely at the paddle, there's a wedge design making putting on the holster very easy, but the unwanted removal would be much more difficult. The lower part of the paddle helps keep the pistol vertical, and also when you push on it, it makes it easier to remove the holster from your waist. The Kydex itself is very well made. It's a thicker Kydex that is very durable and it stays true to form. The holster itself also features adjustable retention, meaning it's not going anywhere and you control how smooth that draw is gonna be. Similar to the outside of the waistband belt model that we tested in a previous video, this also features a very large sight channel holds up the sights around 10 millimeters tall and it's really nice so if you're running aftermarket sights like a lot of us do you'll have no issue getting them to fit you can also have this custom built to fit your optics or rmrs also like their other models the bottom of the holster is open to allow the dirt and debris to fall out freely and it has room for a threaded barrel if you're looking to concealed carry with this holster you may find it a lot more difficult with normal t-shirts or even some hoodies and things like that because it does sit a little further away from the body than their light draw outside the waistband holster that we tested. Honestly, this wouldn't be my go-to for concealed carry. I don't think that's what it's designed for. This comes compatible with a wide variety of pistol options and some light options as well, which is nice for those of us who have weapon mounted lights. Now, if you want to customize this when it comes to like colors or patterns, you can pay a little bit extra and have that done. Uh, the price varies depending on the patterns and colors. As mentioned in past reviews, Vetter has a 30 day return policy on this and this is made in the USA, which is always nice when buying gun stuff. The more things we can buy in America, the better. So overall, I like this holster. It's a well-built holster. It does its job well. It comes on and off easily. So if you're looking for something that's not a pain in the ass to put on, this does that job. And I've had a lot of experience with Vetter now. I mean, I purchased like a few of their holsters for like inside the waistband. I've been carrying their outside the waistband for testing and everything they seem to build is built well. I had never had any issues with any of their holsters. And that's a huge bonus because sometimes you get things and they just don't work right or they're falling apart or it's missing a screw. I haven't run into this issue with Vetter yet. Is there a lot of other holster options that do a similar thing? Of course there are. The holsters, <laughs> there's a ton of them but this one is a good option if you're looking for a paddle holster. If you would prefer a more secure option that actually has belt loops and that can conceal better, check out their light draw option we did a review on in a previous video. It is a much more concealable option if you're looking to do that. Do me a favor, please comment below and tell me, would you carry a paddle outside the waistband holster or would you prefer the more traditional belt loop options? Thank you so much to the Firing Pin in Bergen, New York for allowing us to use their outdoor private range to do some live fire testing using this holster. They're a great 
range that they have indoors as well, which is open to the public. And then they also have a store, you know, guns, ammo, all that good stuff. So please check out the firing pin in Bergen, New York. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Carbon TV. And remember, stay aware, carry often, and I'll see you next time.